All right, today you guys are gonna learn about counter claims. So counter claims important because you need to use a counter claim on part two of the English Regents in order to score well. So what is a counterclaim? Well, a counterclaim has two parts. The first part is the counterclaim. And the second part is the rebuttal. So we have the counterclaim and we have the rebuttal. So what does this look like? How do you create a counterclaim uh, in an essay with these, with these two parts? How do we create this? Well, let's take a look at an example. So the example we're gonna use today is the following claim. Students at Clinton High School should be able to use their cell phones in school. So pretend that you are making this argument on part two of the English Regents. Students at Clinton High School should be able to use their cell phones in school. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a counterclaim. This is an argument against this claim. So he, this is the counterclaim that I created. So here's part one. So the way to begin your counterclaim is to always acknowledge that there is another argument. So you can use the following sentence starter. There is an argument that, and then we're just gonna rephrase the argument. Students at Clinton High School, then you have to say should not, because in your claim, you say that students should be able to. So student, there is an argument that students at Clinton High School should not be able to use their phones in school. So this is a counterclaim. This is an argument against the claim, against the claim. So part one is done. But then we have to do the rebuttal. We need to say why this counterclaim is wrong. Why this counterclaim is wrong. So here's our rebuttal. And you can begin, however, this argument, this is incorrect because, and then we have to say why this counterclaim is not correct. In other words, why students should use their phones. However, this argument is incorrect because there are many schools that allow students to use cell phones and those students pay attention. So you have to explain first the counter argument to your claim and then you have to do the rebuttal. So this will be part one, the counter claim, and part two is the rebuttal. So now you're gonna practice this with the next two examples on your worksheet. Good luck.